Michael Sack, spelled S-A-C-K. I'm the commander of Crimes Against Persons and Property. And this morning, about 11, 11, 10, first district officers received a radio assignment for burglars in the building. And when those officers arrived, they found the building four century to that residence. They began to search it. It's an unoccupied building. As they did so, the subject who was inside the building ran through a window on the first floor, exited the building, and then fled from the residence. The officers gave chase on foot, and they went up an alley across the street, chased the suspect. Uh, one of the officers were able to catch up to him, grab him by the shirt collar. At that point, the suspect reached around uh, with his hand, grabbed a hold of the officer's gun. The officer then fired one shot, striking the suspect in the shoulder, and he was then taken into custody without any other resistance. He's been taken to a local hospital where he's currently being treated for his injury. Uh, the officer, unfortunately, was not injured in this incident. Uh, the homicide section is here to uh, conduct the investigation. Right now, we're going through an area canvas and, and work in the building. You said there was more than one person in the house? Well, we got a call for burglars in the building. It's always unknown. The caller called it in. Uh, we're not positive if he was working by himself. He might have had somebody else. We won't know until we get an interview with him. Would so you describe this? struggle over the, over the weapons? Uh, he just reached back and grabbed a hold of the gun. Right at that point, as the officer felt him gripping it, pushing it down or grabbing a hold of it, whatever his intentions were, uh, the officers feared that he might try and take his weapon and fire one down. How has the officer been on for Right Run about two years. So and was the weapon he... still in the holster? No, he had his gun out. Okay. How old is the officer? Uh, I believe he's 28 years old. Okay. No, I, suspect. I, I was told he was in his early 20s. We, we've had these conversations recently about suspects and uh, putting your guys in positions to fire their weapons. Uh, here we go again in a way? Right. Another case where officers receive a radio assignment, uh, they're put into the situation where they encounter a suspect who's engaged in criminal activity. They go to take that person into custody and the person resists in one way or another. Initially, he resisted just by fleeing on foot. But then as the officers got close to catch up with him, uh, the suspect chose to resist by attempting to either disarm the officer or do whatever his intentions were. Uh, at that point, he put the officer in fear for his safety and the officer responded.